Surely you've heard throughout your life that saving is one of the best habits you can acquire to keep your finances in order. In fact, in several videos in this channel, we recommend saving. Saving and not wasting money will allow you to achieve your goals in the future. But there's a fine line between being a saver and being stingy. Surely it has happened to you that, for saving money and not wanting to spend, you have been called a cheapskate at some point. But are you really a cheapskate? In today's video, we will see what is the difference between a thrifty person and a cheapskate. What is it to be a saver? A thrifty person is someone who not only takes care of and values their money, but also has a clear objective of what they want to achieve with their savings, such as taking that trip they've always wanted or buying a car or a house. The saver does not think in the short term. They know that with patience and care, their money can become a useful resource to achieve anything they set out to do. Therefore, they plan what they will do with it. Not today or tomorrow, but in the longer term. Let's look at the following case. Carol is a 25-year-old, and she has dreamed of traveling to New York and spending Christmas there since she was a child. To fulfill this dream, she decides to save, keeps track of her expenses, and analyzes which ones she can cut down on. She knows that by reducing some expenses, she could reach her goal. So she decided to start riding her bike to work instead of taking public transportation, to save money and at the same time take care of her health. Also, she decided to start preparing her food at home and even bring home-cooked meals to work. Now, she would no longer buy food at the office buffet, would not spend on takeout, and would eat healthier. She also realized she had cable and Netflix subscriptions so she canceled the cable. One of her favorite things to do was go out with her friends. Every weekend that went out dancing and even went to the movies every once in a while. Carol saw that these activities took up a large part of her money. She did not want to miss out on these moments of recreation. After all, we all need some leisure time. So she decided to go out less frequently. Her friends began to call her stingy, saying that money is not important and she couldn't take it to the grave. But Carol was confident in her planning and knew that what she was doing was important to fulfill her goal. Carol was able to save enough money in this manner and after six months, she had enough money for her long-awaited vacation. But is Carol stingy as her friends called her? Carol was cautious. She knew what to do with her money and thanks to her savings, she was able to accomplish one of her goals. What is it to be stingy? Stingy people focus on saving and avoiding as many expenses as possible. They feel guilty about spending even on things they really need, but they save for the sake of saving, not for a specific purpose or goal. Even if they have a stable economic life, they never go on vacation or eat out. And if they do, it is because they have been invited. Stingy people assess everything, compare different products, and take the cheapest one, even if it is of poorer quality. Their shoes may be falling apart, but they will continue to wear them until their toes poke through the holes, pushing everything to the limit. For stingy people, the most important thing is how much money they have in their pocket. They do not enjoy life, and in fact, the fear of spending is stronger than their desire to have a good life. Brian is a 35-year-old businessman. He works hard, and thanks to this, he is in a good financial situation. He has a house and a new car. He has not gone on vacation for more than five years. He excuses himself by saying that the trips are long, he is afraid of airplanes, or that he has a lot of work to do. But the real reason he doesn't take a vacation is money. Brian doesn't want to spend money. He feels guilty about it and is always thinking about how to spend it. When he goes to the supermarket, he always buys the cheapest brand, even sacrificing quality. He saves as much as he can and haggles over prices. Although he has money, his clothes do not show it. He uses everything to the limit to save more. He complains that his friends don't visit him anymore, but he says that he never has enough time to have guests over at his home and doesn't want to spend it. So he isolates himself. Brian is alone with his money and being stingy has only brought him heartache and loneliness. Having seen both examples, do you think Carol is a stingy person as her friends called her? The answer is no, isn't it? The truth is that the main difference between a saver and a stingy person is the purpose for which they save their money. While a saver has their perspective focused on the future, 
and gives their money a purpose, a cheapskate is a compulsive hoarder whose only companion is money that it hurts to spend. A saver knows that thanks to that money, he will be able to enjoy his dreams and goals. A cheapskate is bitter and resentful of how others enjoy themselves, while he deprives himself of life to save a few cents. While the saver tries to make good use of his money, for example, by purchasing efficient appliances to lower his electricity consumption, the cheapskate does not use air conditioning even if he can't afford it. For a cheapskate, money comes first, and he avoids spending it. A saver is aware of the power of his money, so he takes care of it, plans how to spend it wisely, saves it to meet his future needs, and thinks ahead. Being a saver is a whole philosophy of life, and by acquiring this habit, you will soon see the results. Begin managing your personal finances now to become a person who enjoys money and has control over their life. Now tell us, have you ever been called a cheapskate? If you are a saver, you sure have. But don't worry because you have a plan, and by saving you are in the process of fulfilling it. Whether it's taking a little trip, buying a new TV, a new phone, or even, why not, your own house. It's okay to save as long as you have a goal, but don't stop living life. These were the differences between being a saver and being stingy. Tell us what you thought of the video, and if you have any suggestions, you can leave them in the comments. We will be happy to read them. And remember to share it with your friends to help them in their financial education. We leave you with other similar videos that you might find interesting. If you liked the video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time we upload new content. See you in the next video.